In this video, I want to show you how to make a simple mold. It's also a making off of my automated follow focus, a zoom and a ND filter. I know it's quite strange, but you'll see it later. Um, I thought that the molding process might be quite interesting, so I recorded it. And I hope you will like it and try it one day. Here I have a servo connector, which I... Uh, change into this. I cut off the wings and um, that part at the end should fit into the gear and into the servo because it's original part from the servo it fits perfectly. It just has to fit into the into the gear. Here I have those two parts assembled and I fill the hole with the uh, clay. To make a mold you need a sprite, clay and uh, silicone. Here I'm using pinky seal uh, silicone. M you mix it 50-50 uh, uh, A and B. Pretty good, it cures really quick. Half an hour and it's done. Uh, yeah. Now I'm gonna make it really quick uh, quite important is to fill the the gaps uh, because the silicone might escape uh, underneath I have placed the gear in the center and now I'm gonna pour the silicone into two cups um, in this way you can measure it precisely and uh, save some time on uh, curing because when you as soon you mix those two parts, uh, they're gonna react. They're gonna start getting harder and harder, and you have only around six minutes to do that. Yeah, it's mixed. The color is uniform, and you pour it in one place. In this way, you're gonna save some bubbles. Because it, when you're gonna pour it around uh, all over the uh, the part, you might get uh, trapped bubbles, which are not really good. Now I'm gonna demold it. Try to make it gently uh, to don't break the mold. Yep, and it's done. Now I'm gonna pour uh, resin, supercast. That's again a two-part product, and it's like plastic. <coughs> and uh, curing time, it's uh, half an hour. Again, two cups for a precise uh, measuring. It's a bit tricky to pour from such a big container. I'll add some color. Uh, I was hoping for a black, but I have only pearlex pigment, silver. So I have to use it. Uh, if I wouldn't use this pigment, uh, the plastic would came with the honey color. That's not really nice. So at least silver will look slightly better than the honey one. I will mix um, pigment only with the in the one cup with the one part of the resin because. Um, 
the pot life of uh, combine two uh, parts it's only three minutes so mixing it in into one cup uh, save you a lot of time because you can mix it really well and now I'm adding part B and as I said you have only three minutes to mix it and I'm pouring it into the mold A good way to check uh, if it's done, get one of those things and check how flexible it is. Uh, yeah, in my case it's uh, it's pretty good, it's still a bit flexible but uh, I think it's good enough, so I'm gonna demold it. Okay, and it's out. Looks pretty good. Uh, for comparison, uh, now a bit of a play time because it's so cool. And let's check if it fits into the servo. And it does. Sits really well. So I guess uh, now it's a time to proceed with the part B. He already prepared the mold and uh, filled the hole here. Uh, and add the uh, masking tape on, the, on that side. This will allow us to take the part out of the mold without destroying the silicone. And now just fast forward of a process which you already saw before, just mixing the silicone, two parts make it, you know, even color, uh, pouring into the mold, as I said, in one place, and to the end. 30 minutes later, take it apart. Right, it's out. Now it's a time to mix some colors. I decided to make it silver again because of lack of a black pigment and pouring into the mold. And here will be a tricky bit. Because I will try to avoid the bubbles. And 
I'm pretty sure there is something uh, on the bottom. That's why I'm gonna open the mold to let the resin in. And 30 minutes later, the molding time. It's a tricky because the part is still soft. <coughs> and I'm not a very patient person to wait, let's say, an hour or two to be sure that it's really, really rigid. Half an hour is enough. It's almost there. Almost out. Yep, and it's out. Looks pretty good. <laughs> 